guys, so I'm wearing the same shirt from the last video. Sorry, it's only two days after that video, so it's okay. But I was getting my stuff <clears throat> together because I was gonna film the portion of me packing and like I started folding up all my stuff and I was like, how am I supposed to show it to them if I'm folding it up? So I have now stopped folding things up so I could show you guys why I'm packing and I'll show you guys my um, duffel bag that I'm taking. So I'm just taking this duffel bag. It's just a Vera Bradley duffel bag. I've had it for a while. Um, it's really spacious and it's got a hard bottom so it just makes it easier I guess but um, I'm going Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and then I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come home on Monday just like leave early and get back here for class or whatever so I've only got three outfits which I might throw in a fourth one or just like throw in another shirt to wear with my pants in case I like just make it in time for class but um, anyway for the basis of the trip though so I'm packing all my Levi's just because they're like the one pair of jeans that like fit me really well like if I could only wear Levi's I would but I thrift them so they're not always the easiest to find in my size okay the TV's probably way too loud sorry okay so anyway that was like totally random information but okay so I'm taking a light wash pair and these ones are like frayed at the bottom super cute then I'm taking a dark wash pair that are um, distressed. And then finally I'm taking my, um, I have one more pair of mom jean um, Levi's. These ones are also distressed and the other ones, they're just like really, really light wash and I don't really have any shirts that I'm taking that I would wear with them. I don't think, maybe. Honestly, I might go ahead and grab them. I'm trying to think. Well, I'll show you guys my shirts. So I'm taking this shirt. It's just like a smocked shirt. You've probably seen it on me before. And then I have the exact same shirt in this print. So I'm taking that one as well. <laughs> I really, really liked these shirts because it's like they're tight across your like boobs and then they're like flowy towards the bottom so they fit really well and they don't show off your stomach or anything like that which is what I like in a shirt so that's why I have three of those my other one's white but it's dirty right now and then I'm taking this just basic um what color is this olive green tank top um it's just really cute it's really comfortable and then I'm really excited to take this shirt it's also actually it's from Rude 21 I don't I was in there like looking for neon for like a themed party and I found this and it was only five dollars so I went ahead and got it, it's so freaking cute, and I already have an idea for which day I wanna wear it for, so, um, yes. And then finally, I'm just taking one t-shirt, just in case, for some reason, I like don't feel like wearing a tank top, just because it is going to be really hot. Um, so I just wanted to wear tank tops each day, because a lot of my activities are going to involve walking, so I wanted to just, make sure I was comfortable so I've got more shirts than pants because I don't mind wearing the same pants like more than one day in a row <laughs> so I just figured to take you know more shirts in case I want to like swap them out or something like that so I probably won't take that extra pair of jeans just because they're not like my favorite um, and these ones are all my favorite and I could just swap between these ah shoes that's the thing I didn't grab because I'm leaving tomorrow. Today's Wednesday, October 30th, and tomorrow is Thursday, and I'm leaving, technically it'll be like Friday morning, because I'm leaving at 3 a.m. to get there by 9 a.m., um, because the girl who's letting me stay with her, she's an alumni of my sorority, and she's catching a flight at like 10, or she's catching in a flight at 11, but she's leaving around 10, so um, it was just easier for both of us for me to get there a little bit earlier so she didn't have to worry about like leaving her key with someone or anything. So um, basically tomorrow, whatever I wear for the day tomorrow is what I'm gonna wear to drive there. Yeah, I don't know why I mentioned all that, but let's figure out what shoes to take. Okay guys, I am, well, there we go. Quite the simple woman, so I literally am only gonna take a few pairs of shoes because I always no matter how many shoes I take 
I wear the same one pair. <laughs> so I'm only gonna bring three just because all my shirts are around the same color so they'll all go with about the same shoes so I don't need to like overpack on shoes or anything. So I'm just gonna take these Birkenstocks that just wrap around the ankle, have a cute little design on the top. I'm gonna take those and then my OG Birkenstocks um, with the tie around the ankle. These things have been through it from Europe all the way to across Europe to across Florida, across Pensacola. They've been through it, but I'm taking them. And then I'm wearing the other ones that I'm taking. I'm taking these ones, my second pair of OGs. These are my second pair that I ever got. Um, my mom splurged and got them for me for Christmas years ago. And as you can see, they've also been through it. They're like bent forever, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take all three of those. Um, it's supposed to, I've been like monitoring the weather really closely. Um, you guys are probably like, where are you going? I haven't even said it. Um, surprise, I'm going to Tampa, Florida. Woo! Um, yeah, I'm freaking excited. I really need a break from reality, just a break to like go somewhere else, somewhere different. Um, so I've been monitoring to monitoring, monitoring the weather. And um, now it's saying Friday and Saturday it's gonna be sunny with like partial like partially cloudy and then Sunday it's gonna be like all the way cloudy but it's Florida nothing is ever what they say it's gonna be but I'm just really hoping it doesn't rain but my new rain jacket is coming in tomorrow so um, I'll show you guys that or whatever and then um, I was gonna take my new rain boots but honestly I don't care if my Birkenstocks get wet they're honestly pretty old and like They've been through it already so it's not like a little bit of rain will destroy them because they've all three have been through rain before these ones the first day I, w I wore them I went on a date with this guy and he was like oh let's walk all the way on the other side of downtown from where we are and I was like I'm pretty sure it's gonna rain I think we should just drive over there and he's like it's not gonna rain lo and behold it rained and we were drenched when I say drenched in rain that's why like walking in the rain doesn't bother me now because I was literally drenched like I've worn these maybe twice and the foot bed is destroyed you can barely even see what size they are so always trust your instinct and don't trust men but I'm trying to think but yeah sorry if I seem like really down in this video I'm just like oh god there's an ant on me holy cow and it was like jumping anyway sorry if I seem really down in this video I'm just like I mean I'm not gonna yell but I'm just kind of not really feeling the best mentally lately that's kind of why this trip is like really needed and I'm about to move again so I'm just got a lot going on a lot on my mind <clears throat> and I'm also extremely thirsty so that's probably another reason why but um, I can't wait to continue the vlog I'm so excited for um, Friday to get here and I will be continuing the vlog this is it for I mean this is all gonna be part of the same video I guess it just feels weird because I'm filming it like so early so this vlog's probably gonna be pretty long but a lot of people said that they wanted to see it and when I say a lot I mean like 10 plus so that's kind of a lot for me especially when nobody ever says that they want to see my content that I put out um, so yeah, I'm just really excited even if I don't sound it. I promise as I get there and like do the things that I'm excited to do Like I will start to feel a lot better and things will get better. So um, it's just a matter of time Honestly, so I'll see you guys tomorrow What do you do baby? So literally right now in Pensacola, it's like 38 degrees and I'm headed to Tampa where it's like 80 degrees at night right now it is literally so cold in Florida, that, like in Pensacola, that I like feel like an ice cube while pumping my gas. But I'm just coming on to say that I just got gas. It's 3.10 a.m. and I am fixing to put some chapstick on, hook up my Bluetooth, and hit the mother freaking road. So I'll check back in with you guys when I like either get gas again or like I don't freaking know. So yeah, I wish me luck, guys. I'm not tired. I'm just cold. So... Okay, bye! Hey guys, so I'm at my second stop. I stopped to get gas like um, 15 minutes ago or so, maybe like more than that, but my leg is killing me and I'm a little sleepy, so I stopped at a gas station that just so happens to have a Dunkin' Donuts attached to it, or like Dairy Queen or something. 
So I'm gonna see if they have iced coffee. Hopefully they have almond milk. I don't know, I'll figure something out. But that's the update. I've got a little bit under two hours to go and then we will be there. And I'm gonna take a nap, wake up and take a shower and then we'll start the day. But I just was gonna update you guys cause I already kinda like forgot to vlog, but I'm not gonna forget. And my phone's dying cause Maps takes up so much of your freaking battery, man. So I'm gonna charge my phone get a coffee get a stretch and get back to it so see you guys in a little bit hey guys it's tomato Michaela here so I literally just parked like I just got to Tampa it's 10 36 a.m. there's an hour wow okay there's an hour time difference between where I live in Pensacola and oh god where I live in Pensacola and Tampa so technically it's 9 36 back home but I'm on Tampa time right now so it's 10 36 so I'm about to go up to where I'm staying and I'm going to like use the bathroom and like try to breathe for a second so I'm gonna keep you guys posted just wanted to let you guys know that I am here and I'm really excited and I almost cried um extra af I know but I've literally never been here but I think I already explained all that, but if not, I'll do another clip later, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff and go inside. Hi everyone, so I have officially made it inside, and um, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I'm staying with an alumni of my sorority. Um, she was so sweet and so nice to let me stay here, um, and it's just so nice because I get to look after her cat as well, and so let me... Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Hello vlog! <laughs> so that's one of the good perks is that I get to watch her kitty cat while she's gone and it just it worked out so well because she's out of town and I wanted to come here so it's like she gets someone to watch her place and I get a place to stay with a cute little cat and a gorgeous view that I will show you guys later. I made sure to check with her that it was okay that I made sure to check with her that it was okay that I like filmed in here and like I told her that I was doing a YouTube video and I was like I won't say where you live I'll be very sparing with like what I say and what I post and she said that it was totally okay but I'm not gonna go like spewing off all her information but I do want to say thank you so much again Christina for letting me stay here I am so freaking excited to get my trip kicked off like you guys don't even know and it's she lives in such a beautiful place and the view is beautiful, which I'm going to show you guys. Her cat is beautiful, so I think I'm really going to have a great trip, and I'm so excited. And what else was I going to say? So yeah, thank you again, Christina, for letting me stay here. And then to YouTube vlog people, um, I was like super tired for like an hour and a half while I was driving, and then I took that clip of me saying that I was going to get like Dairy Queen or Dunkin' Donuts or something. Technically, well, it turns out it was... Dairy Queen and it wasn't even open so all I did was do do a couple stretches and get some fresh air and then suddenly I wasn't tired anymore and now that I've gotten here I was like oh I'm gonna take a nap before I do anything but as of right now I'm not really tired um I just need to take a shower and like just get fresh before I get dressed or do anything else but I think I'm just gonna like chillax for at least another hour because it's still kind of it's 10 56 so like I'm like looking for somewhere to get lunch, but I don't want to eat too early because I don't, I don't know, I just don't want to eat like a lot, a lot a day. And if I eat now, I'll probably be hungry by later and I'm not too hungry right now. So yeah, um, the sliding is awesome. I'm so excited, you guys, like um, to kind of, actually let me get my tripod so I don't have to hold it. Sorry guys, I'll be right back. Hi guys, so <laughs> back to what I was saying. Um, I just kind of wanted to explain like why I picked to come here and like why I'm so excited and like why this is so just crazy for me I guess so I want to start out by saying that as you guys know I'm from Pensacola like I was born and raised there so I mean I'm a Florida local but um, I mean I've only ever been to like Orlando like we haven't been past that like we visit there for Universal Studios and things like that but if you guys remember watching my college decisions video, I was this close to going to Eckerd, which is a private liberal arts college in St. Petersburg, which is like super close to Tampa. Um, they're like sisters, I guess, like they're close, but they're not like the same person. Um, so I was so close to going there, but 
it just the scholarship I got just was not enough and at that time I didn't know that my schooling was going to be totally paid for if I went anywhere in Florida um, but I think that God worked it out that way for me for a reason because I feel like if I had come down here for college I may not have had the same opportunity to love it as much as I hopefully will I mean I'm already like shocked I mean I'm already like super in love with it already and I haven't even gotten to see much yet um, so I've always had like an odd connection with coming to Tampa slash St. Pete. So that's why finally I was just like, literally I just picked a weekend and I was like, I'm going to take off this weekend and I'm going to go. This is the farthest I've ever driven in general and alone. Um, obviously I've gone to Orlando with my family, but my mom drove and I was like sleeping the whole time. But this time it was me driving 100% of the way. Um, just me also. <laughs> Can we just take a second? Just take over the vlog, why don't you? Her cat is so cute. I wish that um, Sophie and him could date, but Sophie's so independent, and I'm sure little Apollo is just as independent. Oh my gosh, he like really wants to be in the video. Here's your next five seconds of fame. Here you go. And time's up. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I've always just felt like, a, uh, not like a strange connection, but just like a connection to here in general um, after, you know, almost coming here for college. And I remember being so upset about it. My mom, you know, was also upset because your parents want to see you happy. They want you to go to college where you want to go to. And it's not that I didn't want to go to UWF, but there was just something about Eckerd that I just loved so much and I wanted to go so badly. Um, but everything happens for a reason and everything worked out the way that it could. Um, or in the way that it should because I mean maybe I wouldn't have been able to graduate a year early like there's just so much so much in my life that probably would have been different obviously I wouldn't even be staying here right now because if I went to Eckerd I wouldn't have been in Alpha Chi at UWF and I wouldn't have even met Christina and I wouldn't have even had this amazing opportunity to stay at her place um, so yeah that's kind of like what the tea is for this trip I'm just you know I'm graduating next semester. I'm trying to figure out what cities are for me and like where I would potentially want to move to. Um, so this is kind of like a first date for me, but like with a city, I guess, um, because for some reason living here or ta or St. Pete is just seeming like really, really realistic and like really something that I want to do. Um, I just have a feeling in my bones and it just knocks off all the checks that I wanted to so that's kind of you know the whole point you guys I just thought it would be kind of weird if I just like came and you guys were like are you on vacation are you there to meet a friend or something like what are you doing so that's why I'm having this little sit down to let you guys know like what I'm here for what I'm doing what I hope to get out of this is just um, clarity and just to see if I like it here um, like I said it's already super beautiful and I'm already like wowed and it feels so nice I mean I just came from Pensacola where it was 40 degrees and now it's 74 right now and it's it's only 11 so it's only gonna get hotter from here because that's how Florida weather works but I'm just so excited you guys and I'm excited to take you guys along with me it's gonna be nerve-wracking because not only am I vlogging in public but I'm vlogging in a place that I've never been and I literally probably don't know a single soul here I maybe know like I know people that are from Tampa, but I mean, they all go to UWF, so obviously they're there and they're not here. So yeah, but anyway, um, I don't, I, this vlog's already going to be long, but I don't care because like I want it to be. So um, I want to document this moment forever and we are going to have such a great weekend. <laughs> I'm ready to be chilling like this, honestly, because I'm like not sleep tired. I'm like, just like tired but yeah so gonna hang out with mr apollo for a little bit and then we are well i'm going to take a shower i don't know what he's gonna do but i'm gonna take a shower and get dressed and walk around find somewhere to eat find something to do so i will check back in with you guys when i'm doing something more interesting <laughs> bye okay guys so here is the view you got the nice pool and cabanas <laughs> and then I guess maybe that's the Tampa Bay I don't know I'm new here but um, it's just crazy because from inside wait let me turn around 
It's just crazy because from inside, it's like you look out here and it's so like peaceful and serene and then like you come out here and like it's still peaceful and serene but like you can hear construction noises. So it's like from the inside, you're like, ooh la la, like tropical getaway. And then like you come out here and it's like, you hear the sounds of the city and like, it's so cool. Cause it's like, I literally heard nothing while I was inside and there's so much noise out here. Not like so much to the point where like, it's annoying, but I mean, I'm not from big city, so I'm not used to sounds like this, but I mean, I guess you guys can probably hear it in the background and that was not like that inside, but. The sun is nice and shining, and I'm so happy if you guys can't tell. Um, I'm literally only at her apartment, and I'm already excited and having a good time, so it's gonna be a great trip. <laughs> All right, guys, so it is 2.35. I have just taken a shower and gotten ready. I was just gonna show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing this cute little shirt from Rue 21 and then my Levi's that I thrifted and my Birkenstocks and ignore the black Apple Watch band. I'm changing it to my brown one, it's just in the car. And what are you wearing today? Ooh, cute, okay, white boots with the white boots. <laughs> but yeah, so I just finished getting ready. I'm gonna head down to my car and I just have a few things to grab out of there. I'm super bloated because I'm on my period right now, but that's okay because we're still going to have a good time. I am leaving to actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and go to the Tampa Museum of Art. I got like a free student ticket, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, I don't know, I might be hungry after that, I'm not sure. But I'm going to show you guys my makeup and the lighting out there because it's way better. But she just has a full body mirror, so I wanted to show you guys my outfit and our guest <laughs> but yeah hey y'all so oh my god hey y'all <laughs> hey guys um so here's my makeup i have on two colors from the jackie Ina palette um and then i just have the color pop like gold like single pod on over those two colors and then i put like the mixture that was on my finger of all the colors i guess on my nose and then i've got the shirt on as y'all know and I'm wishing that I had brought my bigger purse. I've got my OG Kate Spade, but I wish that I had brought my other one because this definitely would have fit in it. And I don't know if I want to carry it around. I mean, of course I am because I'm making content for you guys, but it would have been a lot easier if I had my bigger purse. But honestly, I might be able to move some things around and make some things fit. I don't know, we gonna have to see, but I'm probably gonna take some selfies right now and then head on to the Tampa Museum of Art. That is what I'm going to do first. I think I literally just said that, but I'm just so excited that it's hard to keep up with anything. So I'm gonna take some selfies and then I will check with you guys later. Hey 
guys so it is now 4 32 p.m um i went to the tampa museum of art as you guys saw in those clips that's where i was um and then i got i mean i finished like looking at everything and i was like well i should probably eat something and then figure out what else i might want to do tonight so i'm about to eat at this place called sushi house i saw it on yelp it was like the second highest rateest second highest rated one or maybe it was the first highest rated so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try they actually just opened at four so i'm interested to see what it is like and if the food is good or not because i am a yelp person so i write and leave and read yelp reviews and i'm on yelp all the time and that's how i've been finding a lot of the good stuff that i've been wanting to do so i'm gonna go ahead i just parked i'm gonna walk over there and i'll keep you guys posted Okay guys, so I didn't vlog a single thing in there because I was one of only like, there was one other guy that was eating there and like I didn't want to be weird. So like, I took pictures though and I will insert them, I swear, because oh my god, you guys, this was the best sushi I've ever had in my 20 years of life. I have had some good freaking sushi before and I love sushi, but when I tell you this roll that I had today was the best sushi I have ever had in my entire life. Oh my god, it was so good. I honestly wanted to order a second one to like eat later, but it's like fried, like it's a cooked roll, so I knew it wasn't gonna be good later, but being a vegetarian, I was like, ugh, I'm probably gonna have to just eat like a basic veggie roll, which is fine, because I still like vegetable, ro like veggie rolls or whatever, but the sushi chef was like, oh no, like check out the gypsy roll, and then the server pointed it out to me, and I was just like, that sounded pretty good. It was like tempura, tempura, my sister hates how I say it, I don't know, tempura, um, asparagus, tempura, broccoli, and then it was like cream cheese, and I don't know, y'all, it was just so freaking good, and all the guys there were so sweet, and they were kind of cute, too, um, and one of them told me that this yellow looked really good on me, which is true, that's why I wore it, but anyway, guys, I am literally having, like, the best experience ever, like, 10 out of 10 would recommend i am having such a good time i'm actually about to head to dsw because i'm doing the wildcat walkabout tomorrow at the big cat rescue um i'll explain a little bit about that either later today or tomorrow but you have to wear closed toed shoes but i wanted my outfit to stay cute and i don't have any black closed toed shoes besides boots and like it's hot af down here so i'm gonna go try on some vans that i've been wanting anyway just so i can see if i need an eight and a half or a nine <laughs> so i'm literally just going there for that purpose and i'm ordering them online so i can do afterpay um because i'm a little bit of a scammer but anyway so that's my check-in for you guys i've been recording like little clips of the city and things like that but honestly today is probably gonna be more of a chill day for me because i am very tired from driving here even though i did take a nap and like i did have a shower it did wake me up but like it's only 5 16 and i'm already getting a little burnt out and it's so sunny like the sun's finally like behind some clouds i thought it was gonna rain for a second but i don't i doubt it is it's florida um so yeah i'm just a little tired i'm probably gonna call it like a somewhat early night i think i might try to find like a mall or something just something i could do indoors just you know do a little bit more walking and then just call it a day but yes yeah, so i'll keep you guys posted at the shoe store hi everyone welcome back um i have been i mean i haven't pieced everything together so i'm not really sure what the last clip you guys saw was but i'm about to like use the bathroom put on my pjs like lay down and try to figure out like everything and make sure it gets put together properly so um i hope you guys have been enjoying kind of like the little tidbits of like what i've been doing i didn't want to do too much at the museum because it's like oh you can take pictures and videos for your personal use but i mean i'm not i don't make money from my videos and i don't think i will be anytime soon so i'm sure it'll be totally fine to post those i didn't take too too many so i don't think it'll be too big of an issue also apollo is saying hi again um he literally reminds me so much of sophie like they're like twins they're like super lovey and like needy and talkative and just super cute um but anyway so <laughs> Oh my gosh, anyway, today today has been literally like the most awesome day ever, and this is kind of like a funny tidbit, which some people might think it's scary since I'm here alone, but 
I mean, whatever, but I have been getting like more compliments and like more attention from guys in the one day that I've been here than my lifetime in Pensacola. Like this yellow top was just really doing it for people because yellow just looks great on black people. It looks great on all people, but I'm just going to be conceited and say it looks extra great on me, but today was just awesome. I had that amazing sushi, which was just... And then I went to DSW, like I told you guys, and then I'm pretty sure I took that clip of, I literally wound up going to the DSW, and then there was a Target, Whole Foods, um, PetSmart, Home Goods, like, combined. Like, it was this huge building, and the Target was, like, on the next floor, and it was so cool. So I went to everywhere except for, well, I'm going to Whole Foods on Sunday before I go, and then I didn't go to PetSmart, because Sophie doesn't really need anything, and, I mean, Apollo has lots of good toys already. Then I went to Nordstrom Rack, and I've only ever seen Nordstrom Rack online, so I've never, like, been to one, obviously, because Pensacola is very small, and we don't even have a Nordstrom, so I, we have a Nordstrom Rack, you know? So I went to all these places, and I did pick up a few things that I was going to show you guys, one of them being this cute Christmas bag from Home Goods. I got some pads. I mean, that's not really anything interesting. Um... I got a freaking power bank because it's not that my phone is constantly dying, but when you're using maps, like I said earlier, it makes your phone go dead so fast. And like, if I'm gonna vlog as well, I need to make sure that I am charged up because I also still have to keep in touch with my family and like take pictures and things like that. Then I got this cute little thank you card for Christina, just again, for letting me stay here. Um, but this won't spoil the surprise because she'll already have it by the time this video is posted. And then I got some of these like, um, cotton rounds to um, take my makeup off because I left all of mine at home so I figured this small little one it was only like 60 cent or so it would just get me through the weekend and then I got some sanitizer just because I don't know I've been touching like a lot of stuff and I've you know been touching a lot of doors and things like that so I'm just gonna throw this in my purse to just stay nice and clean. Then I got these cute little earrings to wear tomorrow for the big cat thing, which I'm probably going to explain that tomorrow just because I'm kind of tired right now and I just want to um, like focus on other stuff, to be honest. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I just feel like focusing on other stuff. Um, but to you guys, it'll just be the next clip, so it really won't even be that long from now. And then I got this super cute yellow water bottle because I guess today just really had me feeling the yellow and it's super hot here and I don't want to like pay a bunch of places for water and Christina has one of those things on the fridge where like you can put your you know like the filtered fridge water stuff um so it'll be really easy for me to just fill that up before I go oh and then I got the shoes I was like what so yeah just these ones Aren't they so cute? And I wasn't expecting them to be so freaking comfortable, but they are. And I wasn't sure how they would look on my foot, but I tried them on and I was like, oh yeah, these, these are the ones. Like, I'm getting those ASAP. So yeah, that's everything that I did today, everything that I bought today, everything that I saw today. I hope I didn't miss anything, but if I did, I mean, I've got two full more days. We're going to get lots of great content. Oh my God, my head looks so small. I'm trying to like... Anyway, so I'm going to take my makeup off, put my jammies on, um, just kind of get ready to unwind for the night and just scroll through Instagram, maybe post another picture. I don't know. We'll see. So um, I just want to say also thank you to everyone who's like watching this and supporting me. Yeah. Yep. See you guys. Um, this has been like the most well-received thing I've ever talked about doing next to my podcast. That was definitely like well received and anticipated and stuff like that so it just really warms my heart to know that people are like genuinely interested in like what I'm doing right now because to me I guess it seems really normal but to a lot of people it's like really out there um which I appreciate I mean I don't take it as like an insult or anything but so yeah I just want to say thank you to everyone for being so supportive and so interested and I hope that this video is like everything that you guys want it to be I don't know you most people probably aren't even going to get past the first like 10 minutes because I'm sure it's going to be like 30 minutes but whatever that's what we call quality content so i'll see you guys um maybe later tonight if i do something like interesting like within here like if i'm doing something i don't know uh but anyway we will see you guys do you want to tell them bye yep we'll see you guys later <laughs>
Good morning guys, I'm in a bit of a rush because I didn't realize that the shoes that I had still had the sensor on them, so I have to run back and get them to take it off. But I'm wearing this headband that my sister gave me, these really cute like paperclip looking earrings, just this basic black shirt, black belt, Levi's mom jeans, and I'm gonna be wearing the black bands when they take the freaking thing off of it. But yeah, in a rush, gotta go, and I'll show you guys my makeup in just a second. Okay, y'all, here's the makeup. It's super simple. I just have on that gold color from ColourPop and then just did mascara, put that same gold color on my nose and I filled in my eyebrows like really lightly because now that I've left them alone for like a month, they've actually grown in pretty well. They're just kind of light. Um, yes, okay, five seconds of fame again. Okay, um, so what i'm trying to talk to the people on youtube so yeah that's the look for today um i'm gonna take selfies later just because like i said i'm in a rush so and i gotta put some chapstick on but yeah so oh my god my teeth look so good i'm just thriving here in tampa but anyway gotta go Hey guys, so I just finished at the, well I didn't just finish, but I left the Big Cat Rescue and now I have driven from Tampa over to St. Pete. It was just like a 30 minute drive or so from where I was already um, at the Big Cat Rescue. So literally there's so many murals and like just so much art and I like saw a museum that I might go to. I think I'm honestly probably going to spend the rest of the day here because there's just so many video and photo opportunities and of course today's the one day that I don't think I brought my tripod which is really stupid on my part but I guess I'm just gonna have to ask randos to take my picture but right now I'm going to um, the restaurant that my friend's brother works at it's actually a vegan place um, I'm gonna try to find it because my map was like here and like I didn't see it at all and my phone was acting super glitchy and stupid with the map and it like stopped playing my music and it was just really annoying but I'm gonna get out of the car um, go ahead and take some pictures and videos of murals that I see and then find the restaurant use the bathroom eat and we will chat again when the time is necessary <laughs> welcome back so um, sorry if like the clips were a little I don't know I mean 
like I said, I haven't fully pieced everything together, but I know that I was getting like a lot of shots of like stuff that I was seeing and of me walking in my sick new kicks because they're so freaking cute and they're really comfortable. Like I walked all day in them and my feet don't hurt at all. So today I actually ventured over to St. Pete after I left the Big Cat Rescue. And um, basically to just sum up like the big cat rescue thing that I did, it's basically a sanctuary for big cats, so like leopards, lions, tigers. <laughs> and um, the wildcat walkabout is the one day a year where you can go around the sanctuary on your own without a tour guide. Like obviously there's still people standing there and as you saw, oh my goodness, Apollo. And as you saw, like none of the cats were like out, like you know what I mean, like out for you to just like touch them or That's what I have to show them in a minute. Don't don't you peek yet. You gotta wait till the vi it's in the video like everyone else, buddy. But um, anyway, so yeah, so it's the one day. Okay, it's the one day a year where you can walk around the sanctuary without like going on a tour or anything like that. It was awesome. All fifty of the dollars that I spent to like go to the sanctuary was all donated. Um, so that's really awesome too. Like it's a non not nonprofit organization, and all the money goes to the big cats. So that was really awesome. So after that, I went okay. <laughs> so after that, I went to St. Pete, like I said, and I ate at this really good vegan place that my friend's brother works at. I think I told y'all about it earlier that I was gonna go there. Um, I'll put everywhere that I went, like down in the description. Oh no. I'll put everywhere that I went down in the description so that you guys can like check all these places out for yourself or if like I forget to mention something, it'll all be down below anyway. Um, what else? So yeah, so I ate there and then I just walked around took a bunch of pictures with a bunch of murals. I'll, I have some of the pictures on my Instagram so I'll, I'll link my Instagram down below per usual. Um, and then literally I just like walked around. I made a really cool friend in this awesome, um, at this awesome place. Hang on, let me grab the business card so I can make sure I pronounce it right. It's all over my stuff. Oh, no. That's life with a cat, you guys, in case you're wondering. So I went to this really cool place. Here's the front of the business card, and it was called Bohemian Reeves. I hope I'm saying that right, but I talked to this really sweet girl. I'm gonna put her Instagram and this place's Instagram down below because it was beautiful and she was so sweet. Pretty much everyone that I spoke to today and in general has said that like St. Pete is a place for me and like when people were talking about the lifestyle and the social aspect and jobs and apartments, everything was just like right up my alley and like the lifestyle that I'm trying to live and that I kind of already live. So I think I'm deciding to do St. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm deciding to do St. Pete over Tampa just because I mean they're close. Like I literally got from Tampa to St. Pete on the interstate and like 25 30 minutes there's just a bit of traffic because there were a couple accidents both to and from so it's like basically you live in both because they're right there so that was awesome and then you probably noticed this i got a tattoo and i got it at this place called classic tattoos i believe like i said everything will be down below that i did and where i went and um, I didn't film there because it was like really spontaneous, but here's the guy that did my tattoo. I'll put his info down too. His name's Ryan Cullen. He was pretty cute too. But um, I'll probably like insert a picture of my tattoo because I mean, I don't know if I want to take this off yet. I mean, he honestly was like, do you even want one? And I was like, well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I still have some doors to touch and stuff. You never know. I don't want to be rubbing all up against my body and stuff. I'm glad you asked. I've actually wanted a lightning bolt for a hot little minute now. I've only told a couple of my friends though just because like it's obviously as you can see it's pretty small so it's kind of just like random I guess but for me it's just like well when you think of lightning you think of like shocking like bold bright like electric like spontaneous because you like you never know when it's gonna come it's just like fiery hot I don't know it just it really resonates with me and like how I feel like my personality is plus how I felt this entire time on this trip especially in St. Pete where I got it done so it kind of just like means a lot to me like to you it could mean anything you could be like oh you're put on your forehead you're Harry Potter like whatever but to me it's just kind of like a symbolism of like my yeah <laughs> of like my personality now and just in general I guess so I really like it so yeah and then I went to this super awesome thrift store in um, St. Pete as well. It was called, 
art pool gallery. Um, it was super awesome. I'm not going to show all the shirts I got because I did get one of them for my mom for Christmas. But I'll show you guys the other ones. So I got this cool Avengers shirt. And this was $4. It's just like a nice large t-shirt. You guys know I just wear a lot of basic stuff. Well, at least on YouTube I try to put on cute shirts. But in real life I'm basic AF. And then I got this shirt for $7. Isn't that freaking cool, man? It's like a little dragon and sparkly. Aw, oh, dude, I just was like, I have to have this. And for seven bucks, I was like, yep, that's mine. So I got that. And then I got this shirt for five bucks. It's a Hard Rock Hotel. Just thought it was, I don't know, kind of cool. I guess these black vans got me feeling some type of weight. And that one, I think I already said, but it was $5 just in case I didn't say. And then this one was also $5. Just a DC comic shirt. Also pretty oversized, but that's what I like to wear with my little mom jeans. And then I got my mom a cool shirt too, and I believe the shirt that I bought for her was only $5. And then I got some things from the Big Cat Rescue. Also got some gifts in there, so I won't be showing everything, but I will show you what I got for myself. So first I got this little pin because I love putting pins like on my backpack and stuff and it just says Big Cat Rescue. Then I got this Keep Calm and Big Cat Rescue. I was going to put it on my water bottle but I decided I want to put it on my laptop instead because I already put a Big Cat sticker on my water bottle because I didn't need more than one. And then I got this super cute sparkly shirt that says Big Cat Rescue. I just thought it was like, I don't know, it was super blingy and it was cute and it's got a little... I guess that's like a white leopard, maybe. Yeah, I think that's a leopard. So, yeah. Oh, and then I got some Dial Hand Soap from Target to wash my tattoo. But I decided to go home tomorrow. Um, I mean, I wasn't really sure what time I was going to leave tomorrow anyway. But I think I'm honestly probably just going to like wake up and leave. Instead of like waking up, walking around, doing something, and then leaving. I think I'm just going to wake up and leave. Because um, pretty much... The other stuff, whoops, I hope that wasn't out all day. Because, like, some of the other stuff that I really want to do, I would rather do when I have, like, more time to be here. Because I only planned for, like, the weekend, but there's things that, like, I could spend a whole day at, you know what I mean? Like, some of the museums and stuff. So, I'm 1,000% quadrillion percent coming back for spring break, which is in March, which is going to be a freaking good idea because that'll be um, two months from graduation and about five months from when I want to move um, or I mean heck I might even move right after graduation I don't know I'm just gonna see where life takes me but I know for sure that I will be back here in March hopefully sooner if you know it's in God's plan and if I have the money to do so but yeah this trip has been everything that I wanted it to be and it was a lot more than I thought it would be um, it definitely like opened my eyes and like I'm feeling really confident because before um, I mean a lot of my friends could probably tell but like before I wasn't like really sure I didn't really know what I wanted so um, it's just really nice to kind of like have an idea and to really just you know it feels it felt really good to hear a lot of people just saying exactly what I was looking for exactly what I need exactly what I wanted to hear so honestly I'm really excited and this trip was awesome so you know um, Actually, I'm just going to end the vlog here. Sorry. I mean, there's nothing really else to see because tomorrow I'm just going to go home. But, yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you made it this far, then that is freaking awesome. You are a real supporter. Um, I just can't wait for the next chapter of my life. So, uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you again to Christina for letting me stay here. Thank you to everyone. <laughs> They're all the random strangers that I talked to and that talked back to me and didn't just say yeah sure and like walk away thank you to just everyone thank you tampa thank you saint pete and that's it for me bye